Hey guys, welcome back to the Calibrate Tools and DIY channel. Today we're going to learn how to set concrete anchors, sometimes called wedge anchors or expansion anchors, in concrete. So stick around and I'll see you right after this. <music> Okay guys, when you're out shopping for your concrete anchors, you'll run into these guys. They both look similar and they're both anchors, but this one is the standard concrete anchor and it's made for being driven or fastened into solid concrete. This one is called a sleeve anchor, as you can tell by the metal sleeve that covers the whole shaft or shank. Sleeve anchors are meant for masonry work, brick or cinder block. They're not meant for solid concrete like the concrete anchor sometimes called a wedge anchor or an expansion anchor. For these reasons, concrete anchors have a much stronger holding strength than sleeve anchors. So when you're out there shopping for your anchors, make sure you get the right one for the job. So the way it works is you drill your hole first in your concrete and then you drop your anchor in. And if you notice on the tip of the anchor here, you see a space that's not threaded. That's where you can use a hammer to hit the anchor further down into the hole. Then once it gets to the depth that you want, then you can start to screw this nut clockwise, tightening it down. And as you tighten it, this part of the anchor starts to spread, which anchors itself into the concrete. Same thing happens with the sleeve anchor when you're anchoring it into brick or block or masonry. You hit it with a hammer on top and you tighten the nut. And as you tighten it, this whole sleeve expands and it anchors itself into the masonry of block or brick. Now this type of anchor here is called a drop-in anchor. It is a concrete anchor, but it's considered a female type of concrete anchor. First, you wanna drop your anchor into your pre-drilled hole. Now this anchor has an opening, hence why it's called female, because you're gonna take a screw and screw it in, okay? Once you get it set in the hole. Now the way you get it set in the hole is by using something called a setting tool. So once you drop it in the hole, Let's pretend that's in the hole. You take your setting tool, which is this. It's just a solid piece of steel. And you put it in the opening there. And you take a hammer and hit the top of this until this portion of the anchor expands. You see that it has these slots around it. That allows it to expand and anchor itself into the hole. Then once it's set, you can take its mate, this bolt right here, and put it in the threads. Tighten it down with a wrench or a power tool with a socket on it, and it fastens itself to the concrete. A lot of times, these anchors are used to suspend, you know, sprinkler systems, HVAC systems, and stuff like that. Okay, so in order to put our concrete anchors in, we gotta make holes first. Well, we're gonna do that with a rotary hammer drill. That's this right here, okay? So we're gonna use a 3 8 inch bit. That's this guy, okay? And uh, it's pretty simple. We're gonna turn it on the hammer drill setting, not the hammer setting, which is that, okay? We want it on the hammer drill setting. All right guys, quick refresher. Anytime you see a hammer and a drill together, that means it's only for drill bits. Anytime you see a hammer only, that's for accessories like chisels and stuff like that, in case you wanna chip away tile or concrete, kinda like a jackhammer type of function there. Then we're gonna take our bit and stick it in the chuck. But if you notice, we have these grooves on the bit, on the base of the bit here. See these grooves on the base of the bit? These slots right here? They have to line up with those in there. I don't know if you guys can see those. Can you guys see those? First thing you wanna do is take this portion of the chuck and pull it down like that. Then you take your bit There you go. Now these holes were drilled with the intention of using the drop-in anchors, the female version of the concrete anchor we just talked about, but the concrete slab bottomed out when we drilled it and we hit dirt. So we decided not to use the drop-in anchor because if we hit it with the setting tool, it would just fall through the slab out the underside. So after drilling another hole to test the area, 
and finding that the concrete slab wasn't as deep as we anticipated because that hole bottomed out too and hit dirt, we abandoned one drop-in anchor in a hole for fear of it dropping through the other side and decided to shift placement, drill new holes, and use the male concrete anchors instead. By the way, guys, that was a pipe bender that was installed there on the anchors. So can't wait to use that thing and show you guys how to use it, too. So you guys learned a lot today, didn't you? You learned about concrete anchors, the different types of concrete anchors, drop-in anchors, male anchors, sleeve anchors. You even learned a little bit about rotary hammer drills. Guys, if you like what you saw today, you learned something, hit the like and subscribe button. Feel free to comment, okay, and share the content. And if you really want to support the channel, go to Calibrate.com and pick up a few products. We got some great products on there. And you can also find Calibrate products displayed beneath each video, okay? So guys, check it out. Either way, Calibrate.com or displayed beneath the video. Grab some, help support the channel. I really appreciate it. So guys, thank you, and I'll see you on the next one.